Swinator. Now it's your turn to try a problem. Stop the tape and find the slope of the line that passes through the points 8, 4, and negative 1, negative 3. Then restart the tape and check your work. Let's see how you did. Here's the two ordered pairs. Let's subtract the y values in the order 4 minus negative 3 and put that over the difference in the x's, 8 minus negative 1. Simplifying, we get 7 over 9. The slope of the line is 7 ninths. Now we're going to move back to equations of lines and look at how to use the equation of a line to determine or find the line's slope. We defined a linear function as a function of the form f of x is ax plus b. The letter a, the coefficient of x, represents the slope of the line and b represents the y-intercept of the line. Another version of this slope-intercept form is to write y for f of x and m for the slope, in which case m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Let's use this form of the equation of a line and work through an example. Here's what we're going to do. Again, we will graph a linear function by hand, this time f of x equals 3x. We'll give the x-intercept, y-intercept domain and range, and in addition to that, we'll find the slope of the line. When we're done, we will support our answer with the graphing calculator. To graph by hand, we need three ordered pairs. Our line is the line f of x equals 3x. This time in our table, let's use 0 for x, then negative 1, then 2. Starting with 0, I need f of 0. 3 times 0 is 0. That goes in our table. Now I'm going to use negative 1 for x. f of negative 1 is 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3, which goes in our table. Now I'm going to use 2 for x. f of 2 is 3 times 2, which is the number 6. I have three ordered pairs to plot, and I can draw the equation of the line. I'll start with the ordered pair 0, 0. Then I'll plot negative 1, negative 3. And then I'll plot the ordered pair 2, 6. 2 in the x direction, 6 in the y direction. Connecting these, I can see the graph of the line. Notice that the x and y intercept is 0. The domain is all real numbers. The range is all real numbers. And the slope of the line we can see in a couple of different ways. It's the measure of how the line rises over how it runs. In this case, it rises 6 units for 2 to the right. 6 over 2 is the number 3. That fits into the equation of the line. We see it as the coefficient of x. Let's check this, or support our answer, with a graphing calculator. In the y equals section of your graphing calculator, put in 3x. Again, just in the interest of time, let's zoom 6 and take a look at the graph. This graph looks just like what we drew by hand. This is the graph of the linear function 3x. Slope 3, x and y intercept 0. We move on from here to the final item in this section, which is to look at two special cases of lines, horizontal lines and vertical lines. To begin with, horizontal lines have slope 0. They rise 0 units for any amount of run. Here's an example. Let's graph the line f of x equals negative 3 by hand. We'll give the x-intercept, y-intercept, domain, range, and slope. To graph this particular line, for any x value, the y-coordinate will always be negative 3. Three ordered pairs might be anything with negative 3 as the y-coordinate. We'll use 1 negative 3, 
0, negative 3, and negative 4, negative 3. These x's are chosen arbitrarily. Let's plot these and see what the graph looks like. We're going to start with positive 1, negative 3, then 0, negative 3, then negative 4, negative 3. Connecting these three ordered pairs, here's the graph of the line. The x-intercept does not exist. It never touches the x-axis. There is no x-intercept. The y-intercept is negative 3. The domain is all real numbers. The range is specifically only the number negative 3. And the slope of the line is 0. The line rises 0 units for any number of units to the right. From here, we move on to the other special case, which is vertical lines. Vertical lines are lines that have undefined slope. With that in mind, let's look at an example. Again, we're going to graph a line. This time, we're going to graph the line x equals 2 by hand. We're going to give the x-intercept, y-intercept, domain, range, and slope. For this line, x is fixed to be 2. To come up with three ordered pairs, we specifically use 2 for x, but can pick anything we want for y. Let's use 3, and then 0, and maybe negative 3 as three ordered pairs. We want to plot these in a coordinate system. I'm going to start by plotting the point 2, positive 3. My second ordered pair is 2, 0. 2 in the x direction, 0 in the y direction. And my third ordered pair is 2 in the x direction, negative 3 in the y direction. Connecting these three, I get the graph of a vertical line. Its x-intercept is 2. It has no y-intercept. Its domain is only the x value 2. Its range is all real numbers, and its slope, we say, is undefined. It moves zero units in the x direction for any number of units in the y direction. As a final concept involving slope, there is a, a way to use the slope of a line to come up with a graph without finding three ordered pairs. Let me illustrate that with an example. Here's what we'll do. We're going to sketch by hand the graph of the line that passes through the point 0, negative 4 and has slope 3 fourths. In a coordinate system, we'll begin by plotting the point 0, negative 4. This time, I'm going to go ahead and draw the coordinate system. Here's my y-axis. and my x-axis. I want to start by plotting the point 0, negative 4, and from there, count out the slope. The slope is 3 units vertically for every 4 units to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. I go up 3 units to the right 4 units and locate another point. Between these two points, I can draw the line. Let me draw it extending in the other direction. In conclusion, in this section, we've looked at the definition of a linear function, and we've used the concept of slope to draw the graphs of lines. We also defined horizontal lines, those with slope 0, and vertical lines, those with undefined slope. Be sure to practice many exercises from your textbook to learn these formulas and, and use them.